a second victory. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he would try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's easy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 176 pounds. Super! And now introducing his opponent, fighting! Corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your phone. striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Cable inches right there boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just missed with the left there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Just misses there with the left. Let those hands go. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just missed with the leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Superman punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Midway through round one. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Hands higher, hands higher. Just over two minutes now to go. range with that kick attempt. Nice kick. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Throw that hook. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your And team. both guys really throwing with authority. Big head kick land. Punch there by Lee. Able to check that kick as well. It's such a fast leg kick. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Punch there by Lee. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Finds a home for the left hand there. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. You got to whip his hip into that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Watch the strike there, counters with a jab. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Lee's 
kick is blocked. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Right at the elbow, the body kick lands. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, oh, the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Three minutes to go. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Attempt here, it's no good. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Leg out. He blocks the shot. Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He's just unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Missed with that attempt. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, that's a nice strike. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. One of the most important strikes in the clinch is this big body shot. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You can see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he 
He jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five months? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level of martial arts. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop us. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Blocks that kick to the body. Nice leg kick lands. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Nice punch lands over the top. Trying. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, good kicks. Man. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Real quick leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, what a punch. strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming so just the way he drew it up exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. well hard to perform much better than he did tonight a huge knockout under the lights they'll be talking about that one for some time Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve will be has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 35 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth the Dragon Lee. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. 
and he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches 